Hey guys, this is my Cast F Crew video for Sunday, week 63, and it's Wednesday, so. <laughs> um, so the first thing I got done this week was this top. It is this simple sexy shrug, but I made it into like an actual top. Just mostly because I don't like the way shrugs look on me, so. Yes, so this is, I used, um, Karen Simply Soft, and obviously this is black, or this is showing up black on my thing, um, and I've already gotten my friends like, you need to make me, like, I want them, like, every color, and I'm like, okay, so, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna make her at least one, for sure, so, the other thing, so I'll show you these, I finished, my mom's Christmas socks. I know she does know she's getting these. Um, I had her try them on just to make sure they fit because she likes having her heels kind of pulled up a little bit. She likes them, like she says, on the actual heel, which is a little further up. But yes, these are finally done. I know that they were a pain in the butt to do, but I, I had a laugh at myself because the first pair I did, I don't even remember which pair is the first pair, actually. I can check, because the, the first pair has a hole. This pair. This pair is my first pair. After I did the heel on this pair, on, on this sock, I'm like, I want to start another sock just so I can do a heel. So. So anyways, there's those. And then I was inspired by Margaret, um, who has been do who has been learning to knit. And she did the her last video and the video before that, I do believe, she had, um, she had found a pattern for a feral hat. It's a very, very simple feral hat. And I have been trying to find, I, I've been trying to find a pattern that's feral that's really, really simple, preferably in the round, because I don't have to worry about the purling. So, let me just make sure I have the back. So this is what the one I made. Um, I just used um, a dark blue here and here, and, a, and a kind of a light blue here. I really like it. This was really really simple to do, and I'm still kind of trying to learn Fair Isle or stranded knitting. I'll show you the inside really quick. This is the inside. I just kind of loop them around each other. And it works really, really well. So, I've already cast on another one, but in the opposite. So, the slider color is here and here, or will be here and here, and the dark color will be here. Now, I just need to find someone who's having twin boys. But, yeah. So, I did that. And then, my sister, I got some yarn um, from Michael's quite a while ago. I don't know if I did a haul video with it, but my sister wanted me to make a hat with that yarn for one of the ladies that she works with, so I decided to do the big button hat, and this is it. It's a lot brighter than it's showing up. Yeah, kind of like what this, you get in here, kind of, except a lot more bluey, I guess. Um, so I don't have a button on it yet. I haven't found one. But I'm thinking of a wooden button. I'm thinking a wooden button. A wooden button would look really good on there. So, yes. Yeah, so this is one of my styrofoam heads that I got a while ago. This is Chuck. Supernatural. I'm a little bit of a freak. <laughs> so the other thing, and sorry, I'm still, I still have my hair a lot. Um, so, um, Yolanda Soto Lopez is doing a... Um, collecting, um, scarves and hats sets for three orphanages that she supports, works with, um, so I decided I'm gonna do it, or I'm gonna try and donate as much as I can. So I'll show you the first thing I made. Sorry, I gotta reach behind my laptop. This is the first hat I made. It's got 
variegated here and then gray. And I quite quite like it. And it's um, more for like a younger a younger boy, I would guess. Um, I know Margaret is doing the same thing. Um, Yolanda said that she gets a lot of they get a lot of um, hat and scarves for little girls, but not so many for boys. So, and Margaret's doing this as well. She's kind of focusing more on making stuff for boys. So I'm doing the same thing as well. I will probably make a few girl items, but I'm trying to focus them on boys. So then this was the scarf I did. Ugh. Because I did not have enough of this to do, this color to do a whole scarf. So I did two rows in this and hoped it would be enough. I hope I have enough to do two on the other side, which, as you can tell, I obviously did not. So then I did two rows, I picked the colors from each from here, so I did two rows of grey, dark blue, light blue, and then four rows of black. What I was originally going to do was do two rows of black and then do this color again, but my mom said, because when kids, or anyone, puts scarf on, they usually, you know, rat cover their noses, etc, etc, especially if it's really, really cold. So I did four rows of black and then did back again and then just did one row of this color here because I didn't have enough. I was playing yarn chicken. I didn't I had very little left. I think no I had more than that left. But yes, so that is scarf that I'm doing. I think actually it's longer it's about as long as my arm span. Which doesn't tell you much, but it's it, it's definitely got some length. I think this is quadrupled, and it like fits in my screen now. So yes, so there's that. And the other, the last thing I did that I have finished ugh, is this hat, which is also for Yolanda, and this will be more for um for an older boy. Or even an older girl, you know. Girls can do these colors too, I would assume. But instead of doing like I usually do and doing um, the, the the crown and the half double crochet in the solid and the waves in the variegated, I reversed it. I think it looks really cool and you can definitely see it better on camera than in person. But I think I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to do it with the colors that don't blend quite as well. So I have to do a scarf for this. I just have like I think three rows of it done. And I'm just doing like a little. It's like that, so I'm doing it like that instead of like this one. So yes. So I mean, yeah, this hat is relatively, you know, relatively somewhat. Well, it fits on his head relatively well, but it's a little loose. But I mean, people have different sizes of heads, so I'm sure they can use this one as well. <sighs> So yeah, so that is all I have done this week. I have started a bunch of mother projects. I'm pretty sure I'm obsessed with socks. I've got a stocking on my needles for my dog. Um, and a pair of just, I don't say regular socks, but sock weight socks for me. Which I think I said last week as well. But I think I forgot them like three times. But anyway, um, so that's all I have. Please remember to check out the rest of the cast of crew members. I will put their links in the description box down below. Um, have a great two weeks and I will see you in hopefully two weeks. It might wind up being Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. You never know. Bye guys.